Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for March 30th to April 6th. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you click the subscribe button and become a pop pop become a part of our high vibe community as always i do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen the morgan to whom all my work is devoted to if you're returning hi thanks for coming back um all right let's see what's going on for this week the magician the three of swords the page of pentacles the knight of pentacles uh the justice card Ooh, i like i like it the eight of swords and the knight of Wands. Lots of pages, well, two. Um, some type of karmic balance is being restored here, and um, you manifested this. You've been working really hard at being able to create this type of balance. It's quite lovely. Um, to me, this is telling me that through your manifestations, through your dedication, through your hard work, through your ability to envision, to believe, you were able to bring something to fruition that offers you a lot of balance and a lot of stability. And that's nice. Well, you have these beautiful moments this week. Um, I, I think there's, um, there's also this energy of release. Uh, because of this three of swords to page of pentacles to knight of pentacles um I, I think you go from this energy of feeling sad feeling down feeling like why didn't this work out i really wish it worked out i really wish that this you know aligned itself um to saying you know what what else it didn't work out it didn't align it wasn't meant to be i'm going to now work very diligently potentially with people okay in partnership and collaboration to manifest design and plant some new seeds um some new growth some new opportunity into your life what i will say to you is that the thing that you're doing right now the manifestations that you're working on the things the things that you're planning the things that you're designing it's going to take some time so don't like don't fret don't be upset don't get sad if things don't like work out as fast as you want them to Okay, because the Knight of Pentacles is here, I feel like this is literally like a continual theme in your readings lately, Capricorn, where you're being reminded that hard work does pay off to stay diligent, to stay focused, to stay determined, to understand that the journey to success is not one that um, happens overnight um, for mo most people, but success is through hard work, through smart choices, through intelligent decisions, to right investments, um, and through dedication, right? Uh, People who garden understand that just because they plant the seed today doesn't mean they're doing the harvest tomorrow, you know? All right, let me pull out the rest of the card before I go into the rest of this reading. Um, Capricorn, if you're interested in a uh, private reading, either live or pre-recorded, take a look at the description box below, okay, to book with me, Sacred Union Juno. This could also be referring to a relationship because of that Two of Cups and the, um, like, look at all this cup energy. So some of you could very well be uh, aligning yourself into some type of new union, some type of new relationship, some type of new connection that is very sacred, very much full of love, very much full of beauty, very much full of connection. Yeah, look at this. Wow, the Empress. Um, that could actually lead you to a lot of abundance. Um, with that Justice card here, I, you know, I, I think that maybe some of you I know that this person is your divine counterpart or your other half or the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Um, but there may also be this energy of like feeling trapped, feeling like um, you're not sure how to move forward in union or in partnership or in connection. Regret, I know that I cannot change the past. Um, for some of you, like I said, that three of uh, swords is about releasing and letting go of that stuff from the past understanding that the past the past the past is the past it's, it doesn't belong here anymore right letting go of control issues maybe a control has been a part of self-preservation but when you start to control things you feel very trapped because they don't work as quickly as you want them to calling in your soulmate yay uh, i mean it's right there isn't it um and for yeah with that um 
that Knight of Wands, there might be somebody actually kind of catches your eye this week, uh, Capricorn, um, from a love perspective, because there are a bunch of other love cards as well, including the calling in your soulmate. Um, this could very well be, um, yeah, look at that. This could very well be after some difficulty, after some challenges, after some adversity and love, you finally are able to find somebody um, that you could grow and build a, a life with, a connection with. I actually, like the more I'm seeing this, the more I'm really, really enjoying this. For some of you, it is around money because of the pentacles. There's a lot of pentacles energy and the empress is abundance. And for others of you, this is purely relationship related. The Knight of Wands is telling me that you're, you're making moves. This week, regardless of whether this is completely financial or a mix of financial and love for you uh, and how it resonates because we're all going through different parts and journeys in our lives, the uh, common theme here, the common, um, uh, bleh, the, the common energy here is that the Knight of Wands is propelling you forward, taking you in a new direction, supporting you in your evolution, in your growth, um, and it's also helping you to push forward from this stagnant, stuck energy. Because, um, I mean, hello, hi. Doesn't get any better than this, does it? Maybe. Maybe the Ten of Pentacles. But I mean, I feel like if you're looking for love, you're really working on manifesting it this week. Maybe even with this full moon that we're in today, because I'm recording on the full moon in Libra, you are in this energy of understanding that you are no longer um, carrying on past burdens in your life that will weigh you down, that will hold you down, that will make you feel sad about your love life. The Six of Swords moving away from tumultuous energy. The Knight of Swords really quickly. Like, I feel like you almost have this, like, root away of I can't carry on this past negative karma in my life anymore. The three of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, um, there's that money again. Um, what I am seeing here is that if you are meeting somebody new or if you do meet somebody new or if you are with somebody new or even if you're in already a sacred union and you've been working a lot on your finances and your career, um, collaboration, working together, which has been a common theme, along with kind of like slowing down. Um, kind of like stopping to smell the roses or enjoying a little bit of like you time with your partner or alone time with yourself um, and, and focusing on self-love, self-care, um, maybe like more of the luxurious things um, may support you uh, in, your, um, in your love life, in love in general in your life, regardless of whether you're with a partner or not. It's kind of like being indulgent right now um, is what you need in order to fuel and, and fill your own cup. All right, uh, I was going to say Sag. Capricorn, that is your weekly reading. If you're interested in a private reading, take a look at the description box below. If you'd like to shop over at Star Seed Jewels and pick up your modern day amulets, I'm wearing a bunch of them. There is a sale going on. It's in the description box below to shop and get your modern day amulet over at Star Seed Jewels. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.